Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to me. Okay, that was not that elegant, but <laughs> anyway, it's my birthday today. Yay! And on my birthday, I decided I'd share 10 of my favorite things, my Disney things that I have hanging around the house. So come with me on this magical journey. Hello and welcome back to Lauren's Adventures Out There. If you haven't been here before, I'm Lauren and I'm with Castles, Capes and Clones where we discuss everything in the Disney universe. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications and do like this program as it really does help us out. Okay, as I said at the beginning of this episode, it is my birthday and my birthday, I love my birthday. I'm one of those people who, no matter how old I'll get, I'll always love my birthday. Now, the age will always get a little bit different. <laughs> I think I'm on my uh, 29th, 29th birthday. I can't, I, I don't even know math. Basically, I'm 52 people today, so yay for me. Anyway, uh, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for my birthday episode, and uh, was just kind of like looking around and said, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find the 10, 10 of the my most favorite things in my house. Now, there's a lot to choose from, so 10 is such a small number. And um, a lot of people will ask me, you know, where, well, where was something like this and where was something like that? But I wanted to keep it down to 10. Um, so it was a little bit of a task, but it was fun. And here we go in no particular order. First up, we have Grizzly Gulch Chippendale. These are two of my friends. I love their costumes in Grizzly Gulch. So when I saw these, I snap, had to snap them up. Now, Grizzly Gulch is in uh, Hong Kong Disneyland. It's kind of their version of Frontierland. They didn't originally start with the Frontierland, which was interesting, um, but they ended up with one. And I, I think it's quite nice. It's only when you see these two roaming around and to, have, to be able to capture them in toy form is wonderful. Next up is this original Princess Leia action figure. Look at her. And she's got her little cape, plastic cape and everything. I had her gun and when I was transporting her over here, I misplaced her gun. So I need to look for it. Otherwise, I'm going to be upset. I, I was looking for it. It's literally, I walked like four feet and that's it. So there's, it's got to be somewhere in that four feet. Anyway, point is, is that no, I did not keep um, Princess Leia. I, I wish that I had, but my mom, when we were younger, my mom gave all of our toys to the Philippines. And so there's only a couple that survived, but sadly Princess Leia was not one of them. And um, I, I can't, I think it was for my 50th birthday. No, it was before that. I think it was for one of my birthdays. I know I treated myself to getting a, an original Princess Leia and I'm so excited to have her. Yay! The next one is a relatively new part of my collection. It is Barley as a Warrior. I just love this figure. You know, I, I have a special place in my heart for Barley Lightfoot um, from Onward, for those of you who don't know who he is. Uh, he's a blue elf uh, and he was very, uh, just very brusque and boisterous and I just love him. I, I think it was just because he was the exact opposite of me. Uh, I'm more of an Ian person, very introverted, uh, awkward, shy. And so I guess maybe whatever Ian sees in him, 
I saw him in him as well. Uh, just a great action figure. I, li I, li I mean, figure, Funko Pop. Uh, and I like him even more than the regular figure. So that's why I chose him. Next up, we have Duffy from the 2013 event, Disney Dreamers Everywhere. Uh, it's just such a special piece to me because that event was so wonderful. I had such a great time. But Duffy also um, serves as a um, reminder of all the good times that I've had. Um, you know, I've had Duffy for different occasions and different events. And whenever I'm feeling down, I look at my Duffies and it reminds me that I've had a really good time in my life. So that's, uh, that's my Duffy here. And I just love him. And now all the way from 1982, we've got a Figment Bank. Look at him. Got his tail. Oops, this way. Look at this, original tag, 1982. I remember when this, uh, when this attraction first opened in Epcot, it was so great and it had Dreamfinder and everything. I mean, it really, the attraction as it is right now is a shadow of what it used to be. I mean, it would be like if you put Eric Idle in, it's a small world, it just doesn't work. And uh, no offense to Eric Idle, I love Eric Idle, but in this attraction, just doesn't work for me. And I loved him when he was with Dreamfinder. <laughs> All right, so next up we have this Thor Marvel Legends figure. It's a build a figure. Uh, I love it because it's based on uh, Oliver Kopiel's uh, design of Thor, which is my favorite design of Thor. You can see he's. This is what he looks like. Um, he's got all that chainmail on. He's beefy. He's got that intense look on his face, and they really captured it in this action figure. And this is one. Even though I'm a out of the box collector, because I love this box and I love the the illustrations on it, I've kept him in the box. Uh, love this action fig figure so much. All right, so next up are Bernard and Bianca from The Rescuers, bag clipped from Tokyo Disneyland or the Tokyo Disney Store, the J Japan Disney Store, bag clips. And, um, I, you know, the, I've mentioned this several times with the Rescuers has a very special place in my heart because it is uh, the first movie that I remember watching in its entirety, uh, in its original release, uh, you know, uh, in terms of animation. Live action was Pete's Dragon. Both of those are my, my two favorites. But I'm so happy to have these. There's not a lot of merchandise for Bernard and Bianca. So thank you, Joel. All right, so next up is this Minnie Mouse popcorn bucket that I got from Shanghai. I have both Mickey and Minnie. I just couldn't reach Mickey. <laughs> um, but look at the design on this. I mean, look at that. It's so amazing. This is a popcorn bucket in, Ch in Shanghai Disneyland. And the little flowers on the air. Sorry, it's so dusty. They, they've been high on the uh, shelf. And then you got your, um, what do you call this, lanyard? Where you can hang it around your neck if you want. But I just thought that these were so beautifully designed. I had to get both of them. <laughs> Next up, I have this squeezy Russell, the Wilderness Explorer. This was given to me by a friend of mine. It's from, he picked it up in Piccadilly Square in London. And I just love him. Like, look at that design of him. Just very stylized. He's at his salute, uh, just perfect egg shape. 
Uh, I love, I just love this guy so much. And the final and tenth uh, um, thing is this uh, Target exclusive Chrome Hitchhiking Ghost set, Funko Pop set. Uh, I just think that they look so cool and sleek. I'm debating whether I'm gonna take out of the box uh, because they just look so cool and sleek together in it. Uh, I probably will take it out of the box at one point, but my friend Debbie picked this up for me and, and it was for the 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion. And the, what uh, it's special to me, the 50th anniversary of Haunted Mansion because it also is my birthday year. So Haunted Man, I am as old as a Haunted Mansion. Actually, I'm older than the Haunted Mansion. Isn't that a sobering thought? <laughs> so these are a few of my favorite things. What was your favorite in my selection? Please leave a comment below and let me know. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I hope that you had a good time. Uh, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications and do like this post. You can always reach us on Twitter at CCC Disney Uni, on Instagram at Castlescapes and Clones. You can reach me personally on Twitter at Lojav and on Instagram at Lauren Javier. And we always invite you to go to our website at www.castlescapesandclones.com. Uh, thank you so much for joining me on my birthday. I hope you have a great day, no matter what you do. And on behalf of me, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, birthday to me. Bye, guys.